Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trick Theology, where we teach how to avoid religious deception. Adam, Noi, Abraham, Isaac, Ismael, Jacobo, also known as Israel, and the Israelites, all children of Jacobo. This is the skeletal structure of the biblical story. It is a story of a people tracking their ancestry through time. For using the Bible, one can track the ancestry of the Israelites from the Garden of Eden all the way to West Africa in the modern world. It is one story, the story of a biblical people. From that story, the Europeans have created Christianity and Judaism, two religions but one story. The Arabians have created Islam from the same story. And though the story is about the Israelites, the goal of the regime has been to obliterate the culture that, that wrote the biblical text. It does so by concealing, removing, or replacing the ingredients of Israelite culture. The ingredients of a culture are language, food, music, clothes, names, rites, ceremonies, and festivals, etc. The moment you join one of these religions, you start losing the ingredients one after the other. First, they change your name, and in the Bible you can see that taking place in Babylon. It takes place also in Europe and America during the slave trade. Then they change your music. The music of a culture is tuned to the people of that culture. The vibration of one culture is different from another. For example, the music of the Israelites is needed to activate the spirit of their God. They can't use modern music to do that. The, the modern music will not energize Israelite and therefore it will not control their DNA. Then they also change your food. When they change your food, they are altering your energies, the structure of your body, your lifespan, as well as your DNA. You are what you eat. Also, people begin to learn and to write in the language of the captor. So over time, you stop writing your own language and your children can no longer spell proper names in your language. Then they begin to alter your rite ceremonies and festivals because they make you treat them with great disdain. They make you look at them as if they are just haram for Muslims or idolatrous for Christians. This is why as you read through your Bible, the festivals of the Israelites are there, but you can't find them They're being practiced in Christianity, for example. Israelite family names are listed in the Bible so that these people can track their ancestry from the ancient world into the modern one. Those who are the real Israelites, wherever they live, even if they forget their identity, when you hand them a copy of the Bible and it contains their family names, they will know they will wake up immediately. And that is why the names in the Bible have also been changed, so that the man whose children are the real Israelites, his real name was Jacobo. He was born Jacobo. And then his name was changed by his God to Israel. Today, as you read your Bible in the New Testament, they have changed that name. Jacobo has changed to James. But you still ask no questions. You pass no criticism. Why? Because you've lost the right to question what you believe. But why is that? To join a religion, you have to surrender. Surrender is a military term, and the meaning of it is very interesting because it tells you the state that you're in. To surrender is to be conquered, but understand that the conquered is a prisoner of war. So if you don't understand it, then you don't believe that this is war, that the missionary was sent here as a soldier of a specific government. You have no idea that you have been at war for so long.
and that you have been worn out, that you have been defeated. That's why you have become so damn religious. You are sleeping while they program you. If all your people, including the chiefs and elders of your town, cities, communities who have devoted themselves to become the custodians of your culture, if all of them were to quit so that they join the religious assemblage, do you know what happens? It would mean that you would no longer have a culture. Everybody would dress like a Christian, act like a Christian, eat like a Christian or Muslim, or dance like a Christian or Muslim, marry like a Christian or Muslim, you know, take only Christian and um, Islamic festivals only, and, and you would damn everything that is yours, and you would lose all the traditional structures that kept your culture going. You know just as well as I do, your favorite religion successfully obliterated you and your kind with your support. Once you're conquered, you lose at least two things. One, you lose the right to question the habits, the tendencies, the, the excesses of your captors. In this example, your religion. You've lost the right to question that religion because you are its prisoner. So you don't complain. You shut up. That's what's happening. Two, you also lose the right to reconnect to your culture because to reconnect to your culture is to relearn, to restore your language, your names, your music, your food, your rites and ceremonies and festivals and so on. And when you're restoring those ingredients, it means that you're rebuilding your culture, which means also that you're leaving the religion. The religion will go to work immediately to anathematize you. This, my friends, is how religion was used to obliterate the Israelites. The God of Israel did not establish a religion, but we still swear allegiance to religions rather than to our culture and our people. The culture that is in your Bible is still present in Africa, most especially among West Africans. I just want you to know that there were no churches or synagogues in the land of Israel. There was only one temple located in one place for the entire country of 11 regions. Keep these things in mind and you will be able to liberate yourself because the God of Israel does not want you in a religion. If you have not done so already, please subscribe and share this video. Let the whole world know that our people are waking up in large numbers. I am the righteous conqueror. I wage love. I hate war.